recording on this. Hello, everyone. It's Vicki Hacking. I'm your Jaffa ambassador, and I'm coming to you from Mesa, Arizona. We have got, uh, we got, we're covered the United States tonight. We got a lot of people from all over the place. And we also have a special guest. Uh, Jackie Alves is going to be our makeup artist. And we're going to start out with Bronwyn because what Bronwyn's going to do is she, she's going to start us out until Jackie comes on. You guys, when you see Jackie, you give me a heads up, okay? Because I can't, I'm busy looking at stuff. <laughs> so I want to also remind all of you that this is recorded on YouTube. And if you're really smart, you'll join my YouTube. Uh, it's youtube.com forward slash Jaffra VH, V for Vicky, H for hacking. So if you go there, you're going to be able to uh, see all the recordings. And we have a, a, like three years worth of training. It's all Jaffra training. Bronwyn's going to take us out and we're going to go into the hub tonight. So we're going to start right now. We're going to take Bronwyn, take it away. And then when we'll stop you and then we'll have Jackie do her thing, which is going to be very exciting before and after. And then we'll come back to you. OK, here we go. OK, Jaffa friends, you know what? This is the last uh, week of March. And so we have countdown right now because next week, Monday is April 1st. And you must be here on the first opening uh, week of the month because we just split that book wide open and give you all of the details. Okay, so Vicki, we are going into be tonight between Jaffa Biz and we're gonna go to your personal website one time, but mainly we're staying in Jaffa Biz. And this may be a little bit choppy because we're going to stop when Jackie Elves comes in and then just continue on for the rest of our hour. So Vicki, let's go to your Jaffa Biz. Okay. Can you see my screen? No. Not yet. We see you. Not yet. You see me. So hold on just a minute. We go back to Zoom. I'm there. Back to Zoom. And okay, sometimes share screen. That would help. That's what I'm looking for is to share screen. All right. Now, how's that? Can you see that? We sure can. Okay, here we go. Okay, and Jaffa Biz, we oh, are going you start, to... Vicky, can you mute oh, everybody that's not Bronwyn? Oh, yeah, we gotta, I got to mute everybody. Hold on. Thank you very much. And Bronwyn, you're going to come back in once I mute okay. everybody. Okay. okay, so here we go. I've got to go down here to... Maybe I need to stop share and then do that. I think I have to do that with a stop share. Here we go. Oh, and here comes Jackie. We're going to go to Jackie Al. She's coming in. Okay. That'll, that'll say, but I'm all set up, Bronwyn. I got it all set up to go right in where I, when you need me to. So here we go. Did you let Jackie come in? Yeah. Helen Wells is coming in too. Okay. So we have our special guest tonight, Jackie Alves. She's a professional makeup artist. And she also is a social media queen. <laughs> so we're excited. She sent me a picture. And by the way, Jackie, I do have those pictures to show of your before and after. So I'm just going to say, Jackie Alves, introduce yourself, please, because I can't do justice to it. And then also at the end of her presentation, she'll be talking to you about how you can get professional makeup training wherever you live. You can join and join her makeup team and she does professional training. Jackie, take it away. Hey, Vicki. So thanks so much for having me on. I'm so, so blessed by you and that you asked me to do this. And um, I see some of my favorite faces, some of their pictures, because they're not live, but that's okay. I know who you are. So um, my name is Jackie Alves, like Vicki Jackie, said. Wait a minute, I'm going to mute all, and then you're going to come in and unmute yourself, okay? Okay, we take, there we go. There we go. Unmute yourself and then you can- How'd it go? Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Okay, awesome. So um, again, I'm Jackie Alves. I've been with Jaffra for almost eight years they don't now. Me, do they? And- uh, they don't Okay, we've got some noise, Jackie. I thought I muted everybody. Let's mute all everybody again. I don't know for who that is. Can we- I sure? think you did it. Yeah, I think you did okay. it. Okay, okay, go ahead. 
So I've been with Jaffer for um, almost eight years now, and I've been a makeup artist for 33 years. And I've always known that, you know, it's super smart to be able to sell the product that you use as a makeup artist. I think makeup artists that don't sell their product are really missing out on a lot of income because, you know, we don't do weddings every day here at the beauty bar, but we certainly have clients walking in because, you know, they want their amazing moisturizer. So it just makes sense. So I have a whole entire team here. And they love Jaffra as well. And um, we're excited to be representing Jaffra more this year. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for us. But Vicky actually uh, gave me the privilege of sharing some makeup tips with you guys and some of our favorite things that we do here at the Beauty Bar. And also um, a couple of things I did with my friend Barbara recently, who is 81. And Vicky was like, hey, that's my age. And um just some eye brightening tips, some of my favorite things. You can just kind of finagle the products that we have for different uses, or maybe some things you didn't know you could do with them. So uh, without further ado, I would like to show you all one of my favorite things to do in order to brighten up under my eyes. Jackie, now, do you I, want me to show you the, show the picture? Oh yeah, please do. Can I, that? Can I show the picture? I had it just right there. So yes, absolutely. You guys are going to freak out when you see her. She's amazing. Look at this. Here she is. Can you see this? Or not? I see nothing. You see nothing. Well, that doesn't. <laughs> on just a minute. Let me share my screen. Share my screen. And then let me go in here. Now, can you see that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yep. Here, here is the before picture. Okay. Here she is before, and here she is after. And then we've got Jackie right here with her. Look at that. Everybody, yes, can see. Just nod your head. Yes, I can see. Right, Wiley. Yes, yeah, okay. awesome. What in the world did she do? What kind of things can she share? Because look at the difference between that. Wow, I just think that is amazing. So here we go. Okay, now let's go back to Jackie. Yeah, yeah. so we had a great time doing that too. Uh, she was getting ready for her grandson's uh, wedding. She was the grandmother of the groom. And she's been a client of mine in the past. Uh, she came in for a tutorial. I love to teach women how to do their own makeup, just simple everyday stuff. But this was a special occasion. So I got to give her like, you know, this full blown thing. And uh, you can see that she had a little bit of Liz Taylor vibes going on there. And she almost cried her makeup off when I was done. She was like, I didn't know I was so beautiful, which I just, I love that because yeah, she knew she was beautiful, but I have the privilege of reminding my clients that they're beautiful. It's my favorite part. And so one of the things that we did for my friend, Barbara, there is, you know, we had to do concealer under the eyes or a brightening concealing step. But you guys know in Jaffra, we've got our concealer sticks and they're, they're pretty rich cream. I can't wear them under my eyes because we don't have a shade light enough. So they work uh, really well for mid range. And if you don't have a lot of uh, lines under your eyes. Um, so I'm like, well, what do I do in this case for something that's super lightweight for, her? I didn't even want to use like a regular concealer, no other brand, nothing like that. So we actually used foundation under her eyes. And what the shade that we used on her is in matte and it's natural. And we chose a shade lighter, which is alabaster. And it's actually a lot of shades lighter. Alabaster is a lot lighter than natural. But what I would suggest you do is find your shade in whatever formula of foundation you love, um, and then go one shade lighter. Now, if you are the lightest already, you could mix um, a different product in there, like maybe a lighter concealer. If the fragrance in White Souffle doesn't bother you, you can always use that. But I tend to not use it around my eyes because it's got a little bit of fragrance in it. And I'm kind of sensitive to that. But there's you've got a lot of options. So don't give up if you are already the lightest. And you're like, great, well, I can't find a lighter one. It's okay. You've got options out there. But if possible, use your shade and then grab yourself a shade or two lighter if possible. And you're going to use that for your concealer. So I've got natural on my whole face. And I'm going to take some alabaster because I actually happen to be the same shade as Barbara. So I'm showing you the same thing. I'm going to take a little bit of that and a tiny bit of the all-in-one primer. The reason why I like this one for under eyes is because it's not silicone based like the... Um, like other primers that are out there and like the Royal primer is very high in silicone level. So the all-in-one is more water-based. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna mix those together with a fluffy brush. This is actually, uh, it's like a highlighter brush. It's smaller than a foundation brush. You could use the flat paddle brush, the concealer brush that's by Jaffra, but I recommend a fluffier one for this step. So you could even use your large eyeshadow brush if all you had was your Jaffra brushes available, that's okay. But I just wanna use a fluffy one and mixing the primer and the foundation just on the back of my hand and a very small amount, you guys. I just did a couple of little drops of each one. I'm gonna be blind now without glasses, but that's okay. I know you're all still there. I can see your blobs. <laughs> so I have that fluffy brush and I'm just gonna start buffing it in right here. And the fluffy brush helps you to not have to uh, pull and stroke like you would with the flat paddle brush. Now, if you don't like a fluffy brush or you can't find one that you like easily, your ring finger is a good little tapper. Or what about the Jaffa sponge, the sponge, the black one? Yeah, right. What I was going to say is um, you can absolutely use your Jaffra Beauty Blender. But if you find that this is too large, if you've got smaller eyes or you have a hard time getting close underneath there, you can get a big fat uh, bahuki bottle of these little ones. It's the same thing, just a tiny one. I got them on Amazon. I got a big jar of them and it wasn't very expensive. So if you want a smaller one to just get in there, these are kind of nice to have too. Or you could just use your big one if you like it. So just right underneath and just blend out like this. Now I did wet this and squeeze it out really good. So it's just damp. It's not soaking wet and it's not dry. So just dabbing a little bit under there. I'm gonna do it again, putting just a little bit of the alabaster and a little bit of the primer. Now you don't have to do the primer either. What I like about it is it thins the consistency a little bit. So it still is nice under eyes that maybe have a few lines and maybe have a loss of elasticity. It just helps it sit really lightweight. So I'm gonna go back in get a little bit more and do the other side. And I'm gonna add just a little bit extra to that other side cause I didn't get much on, I was being really careful. So with my fluffy brush, I could continue blending or go in with the beauty blender. Would you Jackie do the upper part too, as long as you're doing that or not? I would have already done the upper part, Vicki. Um, in the process that I use, I will always do the upper eyelids and the rest of my face first, okay. powder and all of that, and then do my eyeshadow. And I usually leave the concealer till almost last. That way, if I got any sprinkles or fallout from my eyeshadow, I can then clean that up. Okay. I never thought about that. I never, yeah, I never... A lot of women are different though. And a lot of the influencers and young ladies you see on Instagram and YouTube, they're putting all the, you know, Neapolitan colored stripes on their face, pink and brown and white. Um, and they like all that ton of concealer under there. And then they start doing eyeshadow, but I've just found that it's easier to wait till later. Okay. Um, but totally, you know, personal, personal experience and opinion on that one. So I've got that really nice and lightweight under my eyes and I really brightened myself up really well with that. Now, um, does anybody have any questions about that one or Vicki, should I not take questions at no, this let's point? let's not take questions. Okay, so let's go into you how to- your questions in on- Thank you. And Tucky will be looking for them. Yeah, that's a habit of mine to just ask that. And then I went, oh crud, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that. Uh, let, let's, <laughs> let's just type your questions into the chat and then Tucky right. to look at them. So now I've got um, just my Royal Translucent Powder that I actually dropped on the floor yesterday and shattered into a million pieces and it was new. So just so you know, the alcohol trick does work. Denise did this for me and put it all back together. She sprayed it with, with rubbing alcohol and pressed it back in and it absolutely worked. Praise the Lord, because these are gold. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I did not it, know that. It worked. I mean, I've seen it and I've seen like, you know, everybody say, try this if you broke your powder, whatever. But I was like, yeah, sure. I'm not putting a bunch of alcohol and I'll just use the crumbs. Right. But Denise said, let me try it. She did. And it worked. Wow. Great. Yeah. yeah. So great. here we are back together. I'm going to just take a little powder brush and gently sweep under my eyes to set. I don't do a bunch of powder under the eyes. I definitely don't do that weird baking thing that you might see in videos where they pile a bunch of powder and leave it sit. 
Um, I don't find that that is the best thing unless you're 15 and an influencer on Instagram with a filter. <laughs> so just a little tiny set under there. Uh, one, another trick I want to show you guys is how to brighten up the inner corner of your eye. And so with a highlighter, I'm going to use a palette that I have here at the beauty bar. It's my own brand that I created just because Jaffer doesn't have a contour palette, but you can also use one of your eyeshadows that Jaffer has. that has got like a shimmery eyeshadow color in it. It doesn't have to be a highlighter. So whatever you've got that has a beautiful shimmer, you know, what else is beautiful. And this is a fabulous one is if you can get your paws on a desert romance palette, yeah. um, this yeah. light pink and the peachy one, but honestly, the light pink, all of my team goes bananas over this shade because it's like the best inner corner highlighter. It's got so much pigment and it pops like crazy, catches all the light. So that's a good one. And, you know, actually, instead of using my highlighter, I am going to use the Desert Romance because it's going to pop brighter and you can see it better on your screen, probably. So with my ring finger, I'm going to just put a little bit right on my inner corner. Almost like I'm stamping it there. Just gently, though, I'm not like rubbing it. Everywhere. I'm just kind of stamp and pull. And then you can probably see it's brightened up quite a bit on my inner corner. And then I could go with like a medium shade on the outer corner. So what happens is it adds that beautiful depth on the outside, but keeping that inner corner bright and popped like that'll really catch some beautiful light. So I'll just take a uh, crease brush. And what color are you using? I just took a medium shade from the Desert Romance palette. I used the more neutral of the pink colored ones here. But you could use something that may be like a tan or something that would be considered the, a medium kind of tone, depending on your skin shade as well. Um, you know, our friend um, Evelyn Abernathy, who has beautiful, deep, deep toned skin, would need something probably a little darker that wouldn't show up as a medium shade on her. So I'm just taking something to add a little bit of depth out here. And you can see I'm just I'm not you guys, I can't even see myself right now. I'm just being real sloppy but I'm not touching the shimmer. I'm just bringing it over. So it's actually darker on this side, mm -hmm. halfway over. And then you've got the shimmer on the inner corner halfway over and they just meet in the middle. If you felt like they were being real separated and like defined, you could just blur them a little just by buffing them together a little bit. So that's how you can wow. create a beautiful inner corner pop that really mimics the cut crease style of eyeshadow that's really popular, but it's it's really difficult to achieve. And, you know, I don't want everybody to be like, well, that's a professional thing. I can't do that. So you can see something as simple in that as that can achieve the same look beautifully. Um, but if you have a really severely hooded lid, or maybe you have a big loss of elasticity and some fine lines and crepiness on your eyelid, especially that real delicate inner corner, I, I, say, I want you to try it anyway to see what you think. But if it's not your jam, if you're like, you know what? It doesn't even show my eyes are hanging or hooded or, you know, my eyes are a little too crepey. You can also then try the same, get it on your ring finger and you can put it directly in the middle, just on the lower lid, just right in the middle of the lower lid. And I try to bring it down to the lashes as far as I can. And then I'll take that medium shade once more and put it on the outer corner like I did the other side, but not going halfway over, only a little bit. Same shade on the inner corner. So what's happening is it's popping the middle instead of the inner corner. So it gives you two great options. Um, I, I like them both. I think on myself with my eye shape and having a hooded lid, I like the brighter inner corner, but that gives you another option to try if you're just not comfortable with that inner corner. And they're both really fun and beautiful. This one mimics the cut crease style eyeshadow. And this one mimics what they call the halo style, which is meant to look larger in the middle. That's it's highlighted trying to make that eyeball look a little bit larger and more round. Yeah. So Jackie, give us some information on your makeup course. 
So Vicki, I have the um, makeup artist course that I teach here at the beauty bar, but I know that's not convenient for everybody to come move to Yuma for a whole month. So <laughs> if that's something you would like to do, I have been scheduling beauty boot camps where you can do that here. Say you don't want to do it at your house. You still want to come experience the beauty bar, but you need to squash this class into two days and you want, and it's a certification course. So you would be certified by the beauty bar as a professional makeup artist. You can do it in two days, or I can come to you and do it in two days, which is key. If you've got a group, maybe it's yourself and three ladies from your team or five or whatever it would be. I can do up to 10 in this type of setting because it's, it's really personal and I spend a lot of time with you. So I wouldn't want to do more than 10 for this particular high level beauty boot camp. But we also talk about social media, how to share with clients, all that jazz. So it's not just makeup artistry. And you want to put that in the, the how they get a hold of you or? Yeah. Yeah. You can just go to JackieAlves.com. Okay. So give us some closing um, advice. So I would, again, I just, I'm so thankful that you asked me to be here, Vicki, but I would really love for each of you to give this a whack. Just give it a try. My grandma used to always say that, give it a whack. And uh, see what you think about trying the new trick with some foundation under your eyes if concealer hasn't been your best friend, or try one of those eyeshadow tricks. It's a lot easier than you think. If you still feel like you're struggling a little bit and maybe you just want help with your own face and you're not interested in like a makeup course, you guys still just drop me a line over at JackieAlves.com because I would be more than happy to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you as well, where you meet me on Zoom and I can teach you how to do your own makeup and answer all your your questions. I do that as well. I love it. Thank you, Jackie, so much for being with us. We'll, yeah. be, we'll be having you come back. And again, she's in Yuma, Arizona, but she can be right there in your backyard. All you have to do is just reach out. And I love those tips, Jackie. They were for me that I really needed tonight. So thank Yay. you so much. And I'm going to just real quickly show that picture one more time. So let me share my screen because I think some people came on a little bit late. So if I can just go up here to share. And Vicki, did you still want to do questions from the comments or no? Uh, do you have anything right there we could do? We're, we got just a minute. Yeah. Okay. Can... Um, I, the first question I saw was Ashley asking about doing the darker color after the highlight question mark. Ashley, you can do either or. That is a great question. Um, if I'm doing a full makeup look from start to finish, I will typically do the darker eyeshadow first. I'll do like a whole three shades and then pop that shimmer in there. But because of me doing it like, you know, in this setting after so many things, I did it that way. So as you could see, you could do it either way. Okay, Tucky, we have another question. Yeah, there's one more that I see. Or actually, no, there's two more now. Is it still true to put your concealer on first for people under 40 and over 40 put concealer on after the makeup? That is such a great question. I love it. So the reason why under 40 can do it before is because they can do anything. I mean, seriously, when I was in my thirties, I could sling mud on my face and look great. So really they can do it backwards and forwards and it's fine. I know that they really love doing it first because like I said, they like to do all the stripes and stuff, but what I always recommend, what I teach in my makeup class and what my team here at the beauty bar does, regardless of age is we get all through, we follow these steps that we do makeup. Once we get done with the eyes, then we go in and do concealer because that way, if you've had fallout sprinkles, if you blink when you're doing your mascara, poke yourself in the eye, like we do, then you can clean it up real easy with a little boost wipe or anything else that you like to use there and then do a fresh concealer. Yeah. I like that. Which, which goes hand in hand with the next question was, when do you do the eyeliner? Is that last? Yeah, that is a great question. So I do eyeliner right after eyeshadow. So if I was going to show eyeliner today, after I did the, those eyeshadows for you, I would have then put my eyeliner right on over the top of that. Yep. Okay. And then the last question oh. I see is what about dark inner corner towards the nose? And also Bronwyn wants to know the two day training, how many hours each day? And those are the last questions. Okay. So dark inner corner. So that's what I have on this one right here. I prefer a lighter inner corner because I feel like it opens up the eye, but sometimes, especially if you have a larger eyelid, this style, like the halo where it's brighter in the middle instead of in the inner corner 
this may be more flattering to your eye shape. And also, like I said, if you struggle really hard with some hooded lids, they, this may be more practical for you to get that little pop of shimmer in there. And as far as the beauty boot camp, we do six hours the first day and six hours the second day. And it's pretty intense. A lot of fun though. Okay, thank you. Bronwyn, ready? Take it away. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. No? Thank you, Jackie. Oh my gosh, that's so fabulous. I, I just always learn so much. When you listen to someone like Jackie Elves, uh, you want to be glued to every word she says and all of her techniques and tricks, tips are just fabulous. So thank you so much. Okay, we are going through the last, let's say, five, six days of the month of March, and we have a lot to talk about. So ja uh, we are now in Vicky's Jaffra Biz. Jaffra Biz, not her personal website. This is Jaffra Biz, and we are going to events. So click on the events right there. Okay, so as we drop down to events and it goes into the monthly meeting calendar, this calendar only opens up for the month of March. We're not going to open it, but what I want to share with you is there is a major event that is happening in Jaffa, Jaffa GPS Tour, and you must pre-register for this. Saturday, April 6th, which is right around the corner, not this week, Saturday, but the following Saturday. So it's only like 12 days away. It is happening at the, on the West Coast, LAX Holiday Inn, which is the exact same location that happened for the first quarter. So this is now, April is going into our second quarter of the year, and April 6th is the GPS tour. This starts at 9 o'clock a.m. You want to get there earlier so that you can have your social time and uh, get your seat in parking. Uh, the Charlotte... Charlotte, North Carolina is happening April 13th. Now you must pre-register for these events, which is why I am talking about it, bringing it to your attention. I can't say enough about the importance of attending this and supporting this. Jaffra comes out quarterly to us to prepare us for what is coming. So this is open to all consultants, bring guests, uh, leaders, bring your teams, and bring guests to this too. This is absolutely free. There is no charge for this. So the only thing that you are paying for is your parking. And they do give you a parking discount for being at this event. So this is so well worth your time in coming. Now, how do you find out about pre-registering? Pre-registering is very important. You must do it by, for the LA, Monday, April 1st is the cutoff. So please pre-register for this. And leaders, you'll find it in the WhatsApp. It has been in WhatsApp repeatedly. We ask for them to put it in events. So it's not here yet. You need to share it with your teams through the WhatsApp link. Okay, so we are going to leave this event. And we are going to talk about the product availability. We're not going to go there, Vicki. I just want to, uh, to make a statement. We have asked in the product availability, which we have shown you over and over how to get there. Uh, this was last updated on March 1st. I did see a notice stating that it was revised again. However, it's not showing up on my Jaffa Biz access. It's not showing up on yours. So I don't know how Jaffa went about at home office updating the product availability. So right now it is only to March 1st. So now you have that information. Okay, Vicki, we want to show the link and information of the weekly special. We are going in Jaffa Biz, we are there. We're going to the shop link. So Vicki, go to shop. She is going under special offers. So drop down to special offers and she is going to tag 
the weekly offers. So we don't see all the special offers. We just want to see what's happening right now, this week only. So she's going to tag weekly offers right on the left-hand side. Just go ahead and hit that button. So we are only looking at, and right now, only talking about the weekly offer. Jaffra opened this weekly offer this past Friday. On the 22nd, you have received, hopefully, an email. If you are getting uh, it uh, information to you, uh, or you have received a um, let's say by messaging. And when you receive it by message, it might have uh, a uh, a phone number in the corner there. But this did come out at 9 a.m. Pacific time on the 22nd. This offer is available for the rest of the month. So it started on Friday and it extends through this Sunday, March 31st. Okay, so... Jaffer has said to save up to 50% on the Spring Splash Pack. So, Vicki, here we are at the Spring Splash Pack to six for $129. And they put the retail value at $257. And then it says more options available. So, how are you going to see everything on it? Is you click onto the picture, and the picture will open a quick view of the entire offer. When we look at this offer, we first see the title of it, and then we see some code numbers. Let me tell you that this week, the code numbers match the same. What's on the top matches the bottom. They give you the retail uh, value of it with the line through, and it's at 129. But okay. That's not what they pay, because they can either order it at 50 or 30. Yes, we are going to be talking about this, and we're always talking about at the 50%. Let's drop a little lower, Vicki, so we can explain this week only. And it says to choose your favorite of uh, incredible values. Now, be aware that the next line says limit one of each product per purchase. So if you want two of the Sweetie Splash, that doesn't work. You would need to order another entire uh, set of six. So what uh, we have here is the special weekly offer, Spring Splash, clients save $128 at 50% savings. Consultants, this offer to you as a 50% ordering consultant, you pay $64.50. You have saved $192.50, and that is a 75% savings. Now, as you drop down to choose out of the six, there is a total of nine items. And I'm going to briefly go through the items, Vicki. So just drop down a little lower so we can see what all the items that are listed. The split and repair capsule, $25 retail value. The hair mask, is a $23 retail value. The gold dynamic is the boost, the day, and this is a $64 value. Royal almond oil is 8.4 fluid ounce, $30 retail value. The Vessin EDT is a $43 retail value. Navigo Ocean Family, this is for the women, $40 retail value. Odorum Sunshine is a fragrance spray. $36 retail value, JF9 Blue 2.0 EDP. It is for men. It is a perfume, $44 retail value. And last but not least is the wonderful Jaffa Sweetie Splash EDT, $33 retail value. And the reason I am giving you all of this information plus is the free tender moment newbie wipes, 50 50 towelettes, it's not the travel, it is the full size, that is $18 retail value. Okay, so let's say you have a client that is looking at this and they want the absolute highest price of it all, they want that full retail value. Well, let me tell you, when I add it up, this actual retail value, it's not 257, it's actually 278. So that's okay, Jaffra. 
your client saves $149, that's a 54% saving, but 50% when they see that is a great saving. Consultants, you are saving 77% on this offer. This is a great way to end your monthly specials to go ahead and contact a client and say, I have a great March ending for you. What do you need? This is what I have to offer to you. Great savings. Okay, Vicki, we're going back into the Jaffa Hub. We're right here. Go to the top where it says training, product training. So it says shop, it says e-catalog business and training. And you are clicking on the training and Vicki is opening up the training hub. So click on that. Okay, so when we open the uh, training hub, you see there's all kinds of information here and we want to go to product training. So Vicki, the purple says product right there and that is like a light lavender. And product training, we want to hit skincare. So Vicki now is opening up skincare and just scroll all the way to the bottom and then I'm gonna take you to a place. Because what I want you as a, a leader to see is, wow, 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 wow. I didn't oh, know wow, this wow, was wow, wow, all wow. here. This is a big wow. As you continue, keep dropping down because you also see it's just not skincare. It goes into some of our makeups. Okay, go back up a little bit, Vicki. And what I want you to go back up to the top and then I'll talk some more. Okay, what I want you to be aware of is some of these training things, such as the nine in one skincare system, has been here for a little while. And as we are converting to a new website and a new look, new information, some of this may be disappearing. So I want you to write this down. That this is here, product training skincare, so that you can download now and save it because it may never come back if you think it's always going to be here. Remember, we are converting. So look, such as open the second line, Vicky, is the antioxidant face oil, just to give you an idea of what it's here. They go ahead and go into a quick video. We're not going to watch it, but just to show you, this is an idea One of, of what nature's most here. mighty elixirs. And this is what you uh, you pre-watch before you are doing a party, because if you want to share this with the party, this is where you find information. Exactly what Jaffer is telling us is what we repeat. It's either written or on a video, and that's what we share with our client. So Vicki, let's go down to uh, the makeup one. So we're, we're leaving skincare, we're leaving skincare, and we're going to the makeup one. So keep dropping down, and she's going to open to uh, makeup. See where it says makeup on? Open makeup. Look at this. So drop down. It goes into all of these details of Training Tuesday. And you know who did Training Tuesday was our wonder Vicky Mendez. And these videos are right here. Mm. Take advantage of looking at them again, learn her tricks, and share her tricks. And download it. So if these go away, you now have it in your file. Okay, Vicki, let's go to the fragrance one. Let's drop down another block here. We're dropping down to fragrance. We're opening that and just, just go scroll down. I want you to see that we even have an interviewer with our perfumer. These are quality, quality videos that you do not want to miss looking at again, downloading it, sharing it with your team. If you are just going to do a fragrance- Oh, my dear free, Jaffer consultants and lead. These are the things that you want to share at your party because they are hearing it directly from those that may have designed 
this particular fragrance and how they get to it. Let's go to Bath and Body, Vicki. So I'm wondering if if you have a video like this and you want to you want to put it in a uh, folder on your computer, you can do that. And all you have to do is go up here and copy this link that's up here. Remember, it's got to start with HTTPS. But I believe if you copy this, you're going to be able to copy this video. It's on YouTube. So when you save it. it, you're going to copy this link up here, starting with HTTPS and put it in a file so that you don't lose it. I'm going to do that, Bronwyn. <laughs> and make sure it's the okay. YouTube link Let's and not the YouTube link. Yeah, make sure. So, for example, Let's just make sure would it it would be not there, huh? Tucky. The HTTPS is there. Yeah, but she said she also said make sure it's not the chat room. But I believe if I copy this, this is going to be all you. All you would have to do, be in the upper right hand corner of the video. It says copy link. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Just. Just click that, send it in Messenger, uh, send it somewhere, wherever you can save it. Um, I, Messenger, I text. You and you're a leader. I would go through all of this that Bronwyn's showing us, every one of these, and any video, I would copy that link and save that link in a file. Yep, thank you. And the whole point of talking about this is our new website is around the corner. Do not wait. You will be sorry if these things disappear. So let's drop down to Bath and Body, Vicki. Let's open up Bath and Body. Okay. Then as you scroll down, uh, open up the, okay, let's open up the third line. Host a spa party flyer. I want you to see that. I've opened up many of these, but you know, some of it was like, save it and then open it up like that, just like that. So okay. she's going to open it up. Now, let's say you are doing a spa party. Look at what Jaffer has given us a hand care station. It tells you exactly what to do, how to set it up, how to promote it, what you're going to say. Right next to it is about the foot. These are the handouts that you should be using for. Our parties. Jaffa has done it right here. We don't need to recreate these wonderful flyers that many of us have been recopying and all of that. Go to the training hub and find these things. Okay, Vicki, let's go back. We are going back to the beginning now of the uh, Jaffa biz. Okay, I just have. Can I make it? Yes. Can I make a quick comment? If you click on one of those videos, for instance, the perfumer one, um, it actually will take you to YouTube. So you can, um, all of those, the video ones are actually on Jaffra's YouTube channel. So you don't necessarily have to save the video ones, but like what Bronwyn is on right now, the host of party for hands and feet and stuff, that information could go away. Those are documents. You aren't going to have access to them later, but if it's a YouTube one, then you'll have access to it later. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does to me. Yes, I know exactly what you're saying. It's on Jaffer's YouTube channel. So they're they're not going to take it away. You're right. But the, all the handouts could go. But you have to be real. Um, yeah, we have to really, though, to protect ourselves because we know Jaffra is sometimes these things disappear and it's like, what happened to this? What happened to it? Where is it? And just like, you know, Wendy's and uh, Hanji, the, uh, our original, uh, some of the designers of the uh, Defy and all of the detail of information, their uh, interview is still on here right now. So we, we aren't positive that we can find it simply later. Okay, Vicki, let's go back to Jaffa Biz. Hey, so tell me how you, how would I save this again? I'm sorry, this page. You can't save a page. You well, how, would I, how would I save this whole thing? You don't have to save the whole thing. You're going to, it's going to be on the Jaffa YouTube channel. Okay. You save probably have to print it, Helen. Pardon? Probably have to print it out. It's the best way. Yeah. In, no, the upper, a, in the upper right download. hand, yeah, in the upper right hand corner, there's a download button right next to the, the printer symbol. Right. Upper yeah. right to the right. 
there you go. There's a printer symbol up there. You see the printer symbol yep. where you could print? Yep. yep. That right next to it is the download button. Right. That'll download so, it to your computer. So, yeah, so that'll download it to your computer, and then you just have to find it on your computer in the downloads. Thank okay, you. let's let's go on because uh, we've got so much. We, to we cover. still have a lot to. We still have several things we to still cover. Have here. Several things, so we got to go. No questions until we do the talk afterwards. We'll do it then. Okay, so let's go to Jeff for Biz, Vicky. We're going back to the main page. I think I'm there. Are, am I not sharing screen? No, we're still on the flyer. We're still on the flyer. So you want to back okay, up. Hold on. I've got to back out. I got to stop share. And then I've got to go back in and share again. Okay, there we go. Okay. So here we are. And we're, uh, and this is just to, to mention to you, let's go to shop. Let's go to the shop. And just in dropping down of shop, you see VIP shop. I just want to, you know, to highlight this, we're not going to go into talking about what's in the VIP shop, but for those that are VIP members, these are your perks. If you don't order from VIP shops and perks only, and it doesn't matter to you, that's okay. But we just don't want to see these opportunities leaving us because nobody orders from it and they give fabulous perks every month. And some of us forget to go look for these perks. So the month of March, this changes every single month. It's going to be new uh, perks coming up in April. If you're still putting an order in and you are a VIP member, please look at your perks. Okay, Vicki, so here we are in the Jaffa Biz, but what we want to see is the banners that fly over to the left. So that's like in the very beginning of Jaffa Biz. So we're we're leaving the VIP shop and we're going to the very, very beginning of Jaffa Biz where these banners are flying by. This is a little bit hard for me. So go to the arrows on the yeah, upper I left, okay? and keep clicking on that until it takes you to the banner page. Okay, well, no, not there. There we are. Okay, so this is our main banner. And when you go to Jaffa Biz, you see these banners that pass through, that's giving you highlights of the month of March. And so Vicki, you're going to scroll down now, right underneath the banner. And, oh, we lost it. I know, hold on just a minute. I've got to go back here, right? here okay there we go okay here we are on the banner just going to scroll down so let's scroll underneath the dots you will see consultant corner and this information is very important vicky i can't see the whole page okay stop right there okay i want you to know that the very last line we're not opening it don't open it vicky it just says customer experience hours I have no explanation. People have asked me why it says customer experience hour, referring to consultants as customers. We are consultants of this company. This is our company. It should say consultant experience hour. When you do click on it, and don't do that, Vicki, but when you do click on it on your own time, please notice that the extended hours will be listed here for the end of the month. Be very much aware that this is the last week of March. And right now we are into, for some who do believe, is the Holy Week. And so you really don't want to be contacting your clients on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of the end of this week. It just really, just do it now. Do it in the next three days. Okay, so offers to inspire sales. We're going to click on that, Vicki. We need to see it again. We showed you at the beginning of the month. We just got to show you the picture again. Share here, opens up the page. Click on that. It downloads and then you open it and it goes very quickly to open. And we just want to show you, do not miss this. This is a checkout offer. This comes up at the very end. And if you don't see it, it's because you didn't click on, you want to see more promotion. And right towards the end of checking right, out. 
whether you have a 300 party, what shows up is on the left-hand side and you get commission price off of that. So $34, you get it for 17 with your 50% order. On the right-hand side, don't miss it. This is a fabulous, fabulous offer is this manicure trio and you are with a 50% saving, you get this for $14. So don't pass up on that. Okay, Vicki, we are going to, to show something. So go back to your Jaffa Biz. And this is what, it, this is just a very crucial part of our training today. So she's going to Jaffa Biz, she's going back to the main page again. I'm gonna go back and share the screen again. They go right back to the main page. Okay, hold on. Wow, okay. We all out of it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go here. There we go. Can you see? Okay. I don't see it yet. Okay, hold on just a minute. Resume. Share screen. There we go. Okay, so here we are on Jaffa Biz again. Okay, scroll up to the top, Vicki. Okay, so we are going to go up and back to something. Let's go to shop. We're gonna drop down to special offers and click on special offers. Now drop down a little bit, Vicki. I'm going to have you stop on the next series. So drop down and here we are. Just, just stay right here. I want you to look at where it's right now, where we're at, it says new Jaffa skin facial cleansing balm. Vicki, will you click on that? She's going to click on the product. Okay. When you click on this product, this now we're going to scroll down and see what it says. So scroll a little bit further, Vicki. Oh, it's not on this one. Okay. That's okay. So what I want you to see is when you're looking at this, it tells you what it includes is a 2.2 .2 ounce, okay? Do you see this right in front of me? Okay, now look at my picture. I'm gonna show you something else. Okay, what I'm putting on top of this is the Royal Almond Scrub. When you look at the size, I hope you're looking at my picture, when you look at the size of the two, it looks the same. This is like a 6.7 ounce or 7.2. I don't know. It's a lot more. And this is 2.2 .2 ounces, which means there's not lots of product in it like it is. It's the way it's packaged and it can be deceiving. So be very much aware of this. If a client tells you, I didn't get a whole lot out of this packaging. It's because this packaging is necessary of when you unscrew it, there is a protective cover on the product that you do not throw away, nor do you throw away the application spoon. Okay, Vicki, now I want you to scroll back up and we are going back to shop. We're gonna get out of the quick view. So um, we're leaving the quick view. We're going back to shop. Okay, so let's scroll back up. We're going up to the top and click on shop. Now click down to, no, you went too fast. Go back to shop, go down to skincare. Okay, now on skincare, at the side, on the left-hand side, you see where it says clean, toner, cleaner, exfoliator? Click on the cleanser, which is the second one. Okay, so what's coming up now is just cleanser. Now let's scroll down and find this product. Okay, here we are. Now she's going to do the quick view. This is what I want to show you. When you click on it in this category, it gives you the detail of information 
mm. of everything you want to say to your client. Oh, wow. So let's say you don't uh, want to write all this down of what you're going to tell your client. Your client can also do this in the same category on your personal website. However, how it's written on your personal website may be slightly different. So you, as a successful consultant, in order for you to be on top of all of this, you need to train yourself to go and look at these new products. And you can only see information like this when you are out of the category of special offers, because special offers does not give you, even though on some places we'll say ingredients or information at the very bottom, you click on that and you see nothing. This is where you need to come back to. When you instruct your client on your personal website to see this under this section, they may just and scroll all the way up to the top, Vicki. They may look at this and just click to their cart and think, think that it's just going to convert to the sale price. And it doesn't. And why Jeffrey doesn't just put a red line and put the sale price for the month is beyond me. But they're not doing it right now. Maybe we'll right see now, it in the future, but we them. don't see it right now. They're, they're going to do that. It. They have to order this under special offers to get that sale price. So your client, you tell them not to close out their order until they talk to you so that you make sure they are not clicking on this portion, thinking it's going to convert to the sale price. It does not. Once they add it to their cart and they close out the order, they're paying the full price. Okay, Vicki. So... Um, now we are going to go to da -de -da -de -da. we're going to do the March wrap up because we're right to the end here. And this is going to be me talking. If you want to show something, Vicki, you're, you're welcome to go to the e-catalog and open up the monthly catalog, but I'm just going to talk about a few things. This is wrapping up the month of March with our offers. Some of these offers you have heard me talk about. On page five, the absolute best offer was You Bloom Trio at 60% savings. On page four was the introduction of Evergreen Bloom, and that is 45% saving. The reason why I'm talking about this is never before has Jaffa put in brand new products, introductory offers at a low special price like this. So once they do it, don't think you're going to see it next month at a lower price. It's not going to happen. On um, page three is our skin set offer, 50% for clients, consultants. You get this for $29.50. Not miss this. Don't miss it. You're going to be sorry. You're not going to get the pumpkin mask next month or the following month is a limited offer. And so I don't know when you'll see pumpkin mask again, but it is not in our product catalog. So don't expect to see it on a another monthly offer like this. The Diamond Trio, an EDP, a fabulous promotion, save over 45%. This is a premium uh, fragrance. It's no purchase limit. You can get all three of the trios to be your diamond blush is what I'm going to do because you know that is my favorite. Precious Protein came back, save over 45% on page 41. Two piece set for $24. What? Yes, this is the time for the Precious Protein oil this month only. It is limited. And the whole book of March, many save 45, save 40%. Jaffa did it right. They went ahead and tagged every page, letting your client and you know what the savings is. I absolutely love that the lip stains on page 20 and the matte liquid on page 21 are 40% savings this month. March is a great book and I wish you all a great month closing and be back next week for April. That's right, because we're going to have the catalog and we do want to wish everyone a very happy Easter. I just 
<laughs> I just am aware of the fact that this Sunday is Easter Sunday. We just got through with, okay. So boy, wasn't Jackie great tonight, Bronwyn? It was a good meeting, it really was. Now, afterwards we stay and we just chat on the hive. So if you wanna stay and buzz for a while, we'd love to have you stay. But for right now, I wanna remind you this recording if you want to get all our recordings, just sign up on my uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's Jaffra VH. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to all our Facebook friends. This is always recorded here on my uh, Vicky's VIP team. We're going to stop and then we're going to stop the recording here. See you next week. Same time, same place. We're going to buzz for a while. <laughs>